What's up there guys, it's Mac. hope you guys are well. As you can see behind me here, uh, this is the NES Classic. Uh, this was uh, a very popular system, it came out for about 60 bucks and it got sold out very quick and uh, Nintendo have discontinued it since then. But this is not what we're here to talk about. This is what everyone rumoured and everyone talked about but we don't really think it's going to happen because obviously of the Switch promotion and all that that Nintendo were focusing on. But it appears to be that they have indeed created the Nintendo Classic Mini which is uh, it's called Nintendo Classic Mini Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, we could call it the SNES Mini, uh, the SNES Classic, you can call it all of that. But it is true guys, it's been officially released, um, Nintendo have announced this, it's on the UK, Nintendo UK website. Uh, that the Nintendo Mini, uh, the Disney's Mini, is a real thing. This is my quick video about the NES Mini uh, and uh, my thoughts about it. Drop that intro there. Okay, so it is true guys, the SNES Mini is a real thing. I can't believe they're actually finally going to make this a real thing. I mean, I absolutely love the SNES. This was one of my all-time classics. I grew up on the SNES. Uh, not so much on the NES, but the SNES definitely. Um, this was one of my consoles that I had growing up as a kid. Um, I've still got plenty of games from that console. And I've got the actual console that I grew up with still here, right behind me here. So absolutely so happy that they've actually managed to uh, create the classic system back again in a HDMI format with the HDMI cables, the current system, uh, the current uh, connection so everyone can just plug and play and get that nostalgia feeling back again. Um, I didn't think they're going to do it because obviously they discontinued the previous uh, NES Classic even though it was a really big seller, popular seller, but they did discontinue it after all and I thought it's because of the actual uh, Switch and we're going to focus on that. But they are releasing this again during the holiday season, I believe it's in September uh, of this year, uh, towards the end of September, the 29th I believe it was, uh, that they're going to release it. And they're going to release the obviously the power version, which is the uh, the one that looks like the Super Famicom. Absolutely love this style. This is the nostalgia that I absolutely love. Um, in America, you're going to get the um, the SNES that was released over there for the North America, um, uh, for the NTSC region, which was the more of the purple version, uh, the purple color, you know, more of a square design. Uh, but I just think it's awesome because the game that they're releasing on this, even though. It's only 21 games, there are a really big, they are all heavy hitters, they are absolutely fantastic and some of these games cost a lot. So anyway, let's quickly just go through some of the games that are listed. So you got Contra 3, The Alien Wars, you got Donkey Kong Country, Earthbound, I mean Earthbound guys, do you know how expensive that is? Let's you got Final Fantasy 3, um, which is also known as Final Fantasy 6 in Japan. You got F-Zero, guys, they're remembering F-Zero. Um, you got Kirby Superstar, Kirby's uh, Dream Course, uh, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Um, you got Mega Man X, Fantastic Series, Secret of Mania, Star Fox Original. Um, you got Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Hyper Fighting. Absolutely love that game. You got Super Castlevania. Uh, you got Super Ghouls and Ghosts. You got Super Mario Kart, Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. Super Mario World, an all-time favourite of mine, absolutely love that franchise, um, especially Super Mario World. Uh, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, I haven't actually played that one, but it's also meant to be a sequel to the original Super Mario World, so it should be fantastic, and I'm all, I am eventually planning on playing that game, so it's really a good chance for me to revisit some of these old classics, but also play some games that I always wanted to play in high definition um, through an actual um, a, a SNES controller and a SNES console. Uh, you got Super Metroid, absolutely classic game, one of the greatest uh, Super Metroid games you can find. Um, complete that game with my brothers back in the day and it was absolutely such a hard game, very creepy, very hard, very scary at times but I was really glad to finish that game and um, looking forward to revisit that game as well. You got Super Punch Out and so they got 20 games in it but the 21st game which is their actual bonus and it's actually an exclusive to the Super Nintendo which is this one over here, Star Fox 2. Now, 
for many of you guys that don't know, Star Fox, um, they released the original game, which was Star Fox 1, um, also released in PAL as Star Wing. Um, I think I've got it over here. Yeah, so obviously this game here is Star Wing. Um, it was rebranded as Star Wing in, in the PAL region, but in, um, in the MTSC region and the US, um, it was known as Star Fox. And Star Fox 2 was another game that was in development and they completed it and it was literally ready to get released but due to um, the PlayStation coming out with the 3D graphics and obviously the N64 almost being complete and they thought they would focus more on N64 and do Star Fox 64 and put most of the elements from the Star Fox 2 game onto the N64 version so unfortunately it was never released it came at that time where they were moving on to a new console and they wanted to show the 3d capabilities of the n64 rather than showcasing the snes 3d which would have looked quite dated at the time as you know because it was competing with playstation and stuff like that so star fox 2 was never released officially by nintendo and you're actually going to get an official release on an nes well a snes mini um, console which is a clone console but it's an officially licensed console by Nintendo so you are actually getting an official physical release of this game which is like mind-blowing I mean how often do you see consoles or companies go back and release their old-time classic games especially games that were never officially released I mean this is something like you would find in a ROM hack or like a, um, a, a, a reprint or something like that something that was recreated again just to um, let you know, retro gamers and retro enthusiasts you know, enjoy but you would never see this usually officially done so this is an absolutely uh, really big um, step by Nintendo I mean they've definitely stepped up with this I mean you know how often do you see this guys you know so <clears throat> so definitely some incentive there for you to buy this not only is it just that um, it's the usual games that you have once got but you're also getting an exclusive game that was never released officially and now it's getting officially released so definitely nice to see that game on there um, Street Fighter 2 Turbo I would love to play that again absolutely one of my all time favourite games where is it where is it where is it, where is it? Yeah. oh shit it's actually plugged into my console here we go Super Nintendo it's uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo absolutely love this game they've got awesome awesome um, third party games in this list not just first party but they've also got Capcom Street Fighter 2 Turbo they've got Castlevania from Konami you know they've got really good games over here you know they're not just the standard uh, first party titles so they did really dig deep in this uh, selection of games here and I think they've they found a really good selection here um, and um, I think a lot of people are gonna enjoy it and now the price of this is a bit steep is um, I mean we haven't gone UK price yet but in the States is coming out at $80 so the mini SNES classic launches in September for $80 um, this is a full list again. Um, I mean, I think that's a fairly reasonable price. If you look about, um, if you look at some of the titles that they've got uh, bundled into this, um, for example, Mega Man X. Look how much that goes for complete. Let me just zoom into that. So yeah, this is Mega Man X. As you can see, it goes for one hundred and seventy nine ninety nine. Buy now on eBay. If you have a quick look. Um, that's Mega Man X complete um, if you go for something like Super Mario RPG that can go for a lot more again if it's box complete uh, this is just a loose cartridge it goes for 45 pounds so just get a few of these games and before you know it, you've already spent that $80 you know so this is a really good incentive for you to go and replay some of these awesome classic franchise games and not have to play an arm and a leg for these um, annoying resellers that are sort of charging uh, above market value for these games. Um, I mean, um, I know these games are really rare, but I mean, the price that they go on to nowadays, I mean, not many people are going to be willing to pay that much um, other than certain um, really good, um, other than certain really enthusiastic uh, retro collectors. So it's a good idea for um, Nintendo to release these back again and make some money for themselves because not only will they be making money on these, but also. Um, they'll be able to give um, the the fans um, some of their classic franchises um, a chance to play again, you know. So you know it's it's a win-win. I see it as. So anyway, that is the Super Nintendo Mini. I can't believe they've actually released this, and it's going to be released in September. Um, it's going to come out for eighty dollars in the US. I don't know exactly how much that's going to come to um, in the UK, um, but it's usually a little bit less. 
um, because of conversion. So I'll probably assume it's going to be around about the sixty-nine pounds, seventy-nine pounds, uh, sixty-nine pounds mark, something like that, probably. Um, but anyway, I can't. Look, I'm looking very forward to it. You're gonna get two controllers in this, so it's ready, really, really ready to play out the box. You can literally get your two-player games on. You can start playing Street Fighter and any other multiplayer games, Contra, all of that. You can start straight away. There is no issue with. Um, having to buy another separate controller, it's literally plug and play. Um, they've also addressed the issue with the, the length of the cable for the controller. Apparently from 3 foot it's going to be 5 foot this time, so hopefully that should ease the annoyingness of having to pull the entire console towards you. Now I don't know how they're going to have the reset button, and they may have the eject button and the power button to actually do functions within the menu, because obviously they did down the NES uh, Mini, so anyway, we'll see how they do that. But anyway, what are your thoughts about the Super Nintendo uh, Mini um, that's been announced recently? Um, this is an officially licensed Nintendo product. It comes with an exclusive game, which is Star Fox 2, never released, and they are officially releasing it. This is not a hack. It's not a ROM hack. I know it's been um, played on in the internet. It's, been, um, it's a ROM that's been leaked and it's been played on uh, loads of emulators. But I understand that. But this is your first chance to play at the official release and on physical form if you count it as because it's a console uh, rather than a match or cartridge. But it's still a physical format. So that's amazing to play. You've got Mario RPGs, you've got the awesome Mario World. You got Street Fighter, you got Castlevania, some fantastic games. It'd be nice to see uh, the likes of Chronos Trigger on there because obviously these games are really, really expensive, and I like to have all these games in one bundle and not have resellers get paid all that bucks for no reason just for you to play the game. I prefer all these expensive tiles to be on a very affordable budget, and I think they've done most of it and they've captured most of the games that would be enjoyed by fans and also. Uh, people looking for that nostalgia hit straight away. So anyway, let me know what you think about this uh, new release and new announcement by Nintendo. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, will you be getting one yourself? I definitely will be picking up one because I don't want uh, the issue of the um, the NES Mini to be the um, the be all end all. I don't want to be chasing and looking on eBay forever. I still haven't got the NES Mini. That's how annoyingly uh, rare it was because they made such a small um, shipment and I hope they're not going to do the exact same thing for the SNES. Please Nintendo, don't do that. Give us enough supply because we don't want have to you know, resort to going to evil resellers on evil bay and having to pick up, um, the, you know, pay double or triple the amount just to get the, uh, having to pay double or triple the amount above the retail price just to get your hands on a classic system like this. So please give us a lot more. Anyway, let me know guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, take care guys. This is Mac. Peace.